Hey everybody, it's Steve here from The Checkpoint. Welcome to Bonus Points. This is a brand new series we're starting where we're putting videos that don't kind of fit the overlying narrative of the main Checkpoint series. So here, today, in Stormworks, we're going to be taking a look at some workshop vehicles. So, I took the great privilege of... Can I get down here? There we go. I'm going to dive over this. Whoa! I took the great privilege of kind of looking over some workshop uh, items that we could spawn in. And I just want to check them out and see if we can get them going. So we've got helicopters, we've got planes, we've got all sorts coming today. Sir, so, how do I spawn them in? I imagine I go to the workbench. Uh, maybe I can load a vehicle in. Ah, uh, here they are. So we've got a helicarrier, Rob's chopper, a plane, and a rescue helicopter. So what I really want to focus on today is like aerial vehicles. I want to focus on ones that can fly. So let's go for a basic rescue chopper this time. Let's spawn it in and we'll take a look and see how it flies. Now, this is going to be a bit of a tough flight because, I mean, we're, we're in a building. We're in a little air hangar. So hopefully we could do this quite well. Okay, we can pretend it's the workbench. We obviously don't want to do that. We want to enter. How do I... Let, let me in. Hey! Let me in there. I want to... I want to get in this thing. There must be a way to get in. Come on. Really? There's there's no way to get in this one at all. There must be. Let's let's push it outside. I think we can give it a little push outside. Oh, there we go. We got Oh, we can kind of get in the pilot seat somewhere and now it's just spinning indefinitely. Hold on. There we go. Okay. How do I go? We've got all sorts of things here. Uh wheel brakes off and on. Can we can we move yet? Uh a spotlight Whoa, we can put spotlights on. That's so cool. Uh, what else do we have? There's some little things down here. I don't think we can actually access them there. Um, I'm pressing all sorts. It doesn't seem to be wanting to work. There must be... A oh, I was going to say, there must be a way to get it started. Maybe there's like a little button we've got to press before we... That's the wheel bricks. Maybe we want those off. Oh, there we go. I saw landing gear for a second or something. Where'd it go? Come on. Where's it gone? There's the spotlight. There's the workbench. There. Landing gear. Okay, let's just see if we can get this going. Whereabouts was it? There it is. Okay, so where's the... How do I get to go? Go, damn it. Huh. Um, okay. Well, let's return this one to the workbench. And we'll, uh, we'll try it again. Let's return it. There must be somewhere to do this. Hold on. Let's exit. Okay, can we spawn it, like, out here? I'm not sure. Let's try a different helicopter. We could come back to this one. Um, it wants to figure out how to work them. Uh, it's, it's interesting, because that one was made by, uh, Stormworks themselves. Like, the, uh... Oh, look at this one! Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Look at this! That looks awesome. Um, yeah, that one was actually built by the Stormworks team. So, I'm not sure why it's not working. Now, hopefully, we can get up to this one. It looks like it's got some, like... Uh, floating uh, little frames here to get, to let us land on water. That could be cool. All right, how do I get into this one? It's just ah, there's a small ladder. Here we go. Let's climb up here. In we get. Looks like we've got space for some other people. Uh, okay, pilot seat. Does this one go? This one doesn't seem to want to go like the other one. It must be something to do with this, right? Like getting those working. Hmm. Well, this is, isn't going as smoothly as I wanted it to. Maybe I'm missing something here. I'm trying to, like, grab onto this. Oh, we can zoom in. It's interesting. How do we get that working? Oh, there we go. So if we press 1, it gets everything spinning. Okay, so we will come back to that other rescue chopper. Let's just see. Hold on. Can I get into third person? There we go. Let's just see if we can take off. Oh, my God. Are we even going to be able to fit through the door? Holy crap. Okay. Let's just gently... Move it underneath there. Oh my god, yes! It's working, I think. We're kind of a bit stuck here. Hold on. We're a bit wonky. There we go. Oh god, can I not get out? Oh god, no, don't hit the reef. Oh man. Okay, hold on. I'm just trying to do this. Uh, we kind of dirt scratch our rotors on the edge of the roof or whatever. Oh god, no, 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 no. Okay, I think we are stuck a little. All right, we're almost out. It's just a matter of squeezing it out there. There we go. Nope, don't go towards the wall. Good grief. Okay, can we fly? How do we go up? Send me up. Okay, let's hold space. Maybe that does something. Okay, it looks like we are flying a little. It's just a case of getting us up in the air. 
Uh, come on. How does it work? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Get back in. Get back in the pilot seat, for God's sake. Okay, back into third person. All right, so we, we are kind of flying. Have we lost any parts? No, we're looking good. I'm pressing down space. It doesn't seem to be working. Got to press the right click. Uh, one turns off the engine, so maybe... Hmm. I'm trying to think of how we could fly into the air. It's not space. Oh, God, no! Oh, God, we completely flipped it. Oh, jeez! Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, back to the... Uh, hold on. Let's get back to the... Um, Holy crap. Mayday, mayday. We have crashed. We have crash landed here. Uh, turn that on. Third person. Okay, let's just nudge ourselves out like we did last time. Oh, God. Okay, so that controls like the... Right. That controls like the uh, the horizontal like angle almost. Oh, God. Here we go. Right, I've just got to get out that way, please. Okay. Now, what's auto hover? Two? I think it is. Okay, what gets us going in the air? Oh, God. I think we're doing it. Oh, we have liftoff. We're doing it. Look at this. Awesome. Oh, they've got the wind effects and everything. Okay. Let's try fly to that island. Let's see if we can do that. That's our, our mission. Okay, let's spin it around. Okay. Uh, or should we go for this island over here? Let's go for this one. Okay, let's just gently nudge ourselves that way. And try not to... Oh, God, we're going down. We're going down. Okay, float up. There we go. It's annoying because we've got to control the, um, the the direction with the WASD keys, but the numerical, not the new, numerical keys. Why do I keep saying that? The um, directional keys are the, um, hold on, we'll zoom out a bit so we've got a bit of space here. The directional keys are like the left and right, as you can see here. So we've got to use the keyboard with two hands and we don't have to control the, uh, the mouse. Which is a little interesting. Okay, let's go. Let's try and not crash. Okay, we, we are moving along now at a very, very fast rate. If we can come in for a gentle landing here, that'd be great. Okay, we're going to slow down. Slow it down. Oh, God, we're going to overshoot, aren't we? Oh, God, spin it around, spin it around. Don't crash into that radio tower, for God's sake. Okay. Nice and gentle here. God, I'm dreading what the plane's going to be controlled like. That's going to be insane. Nice and gentle. We'll lower it down. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Well, I've done it again. Um, I've managed to completely flip. Hold on. Can we get... Can we salvage this somehow? No, I think we're a little stuck now. Okay. Uh, Mayday, once again, we are trapped. And this thing is freaky out. Let's get out. Oh, God, I'm stuck. No. No. No, it's shaking everywhere. Come on. <laughs> All right. Um, there's no other exit here. We've got somehow. There we go. Oh, my God. Well, these blades don't do anything to us, so that's all right. Holy crap. Look at that. Wow. We managed to just topple that. Okay. It looks like we've got to swim back. Oh, wait. No, there is a workbench here, I believe. So we can spawn in the next thing here. Or maybe we can spawn in a boat to get us back over there. That might be a better idea. Yeah, so let's load in. Uh, obviously, we can't load in a um, a, uh, a plane or a helicopter here because it's a water dock. Uh, let's load in the HMS Steve, the fearful HMS Steve. Uh, let's jump onto here. Oh, God, I missed it. Hold on. Let's climb up here. Hop into the pilot seat. Turn it on. Let's get back to our... Oh, God, no, that's the wrong one. Didn't mean to press that. Let's get back to the the island. I think it was this one over here. Uh, don't think it was that one, so let's just slowly make our way over at least. Can we see the helicopter? It's still, free it's still freaking out up there. <laughs> oh, no. All right, so we have our rescue helicopter all loaded in here. I've just got to get into the pilot seat through here for some bizarre reason. Let's make sure that everything is uh, ready to go. We'll go into third person. Let's press 1 to power it on. I imagine that's what powers it on. Well, I guess not because it's not working. <laughs> God's sake. Um, this happened before, didn't it? Like, we, we were trying to press all the buttons and it just didn't work. Let's return it to the workbench. Let's have a look at the logic here. How do we... Oh, my God. This one looks complicated. Um, 
What is the power button? For God's sake. Uh, throttle. What's that one? Uh, stabilized up slash down. Yeah, but what, what button does that? For God's sake. Um, this looks very complicated, this one. Um, well, I guess we've kind of already seen a helicopter in this episode, so we might as well leave this one for now. Uh, this one is a little bit complicated, but, um... I guess we'll move on to the plane now. Look, that's the up and arrow keys. Up and down arrow keys. Um, yeah, we, we better come back to this one in another episode because this one's a bit complicated for us right now for our tiny little brains. So let's do a plane instead, and hopefully this one's going to be a bit easier. Uh, so up and down arrow keys uh, for the pitch or something there. How do I get the engine on? Up and down arrow keys. A and D keys. Okay. Let's just spawn it in, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, well, uh, then it works. Oh god, this looks a bit unsteady to say the least. Where do I sit? Do I sit there? Okay, hold on. Ugh! There we go. So how do I get moving? Well, first I've got to turn it on, I imagine. So I can press any of the keys for that. Oh god, I always press that... That key to set me... Set me free. I always press E. Um, okay, so none of the buttons seem to be working. I'm pressing all sorts here. Oh, pressing all the buttons. And they seem to have programmed it so it doesn't... Doesn't move? Is this linked to, like... Oh, the two key, that might be it. Okay, well, I've, I swear I've pressed two. Um, let's see how we do this time. Okay, into the pilot seat. Come on. Oh, I missed it. Uh, there we go. Two. I'm pressing two. And it's not working. Pressing all the keys, in fact. It doesn't seem to be moving. Like, at all. Um, come on. Hey, look what I got working. So, I ended up having to route the power button to the six key because for some reason it wasn't, uh, wasn't working. But look at this. Look, we're actually mobile. Now, how do we make it go up? Uh, okay, slow down because we're going to end up crashing into... Oh, my God. Okay, I meant to do that. Meant to do that. Meant to do that. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's just let's just slow this right down. Press the six key. Get to slow down. Okay. Well, that could have gone better. Um, whoa! Oh god, it's gonna crush us. Look out! Whoa. Okay. Uh let's return this one to the workbench here. So yeah, I'll show you what I did. So if you ever decide to spawn this one in, it, it'll work for you. So I decided to root the six key to the uh, the engine off on and off because that wasn't actually linked to anything it didn't seem that's why none of the buttons were working so now let's just see what uh, controls what here so we have a brake which is linked to the three key so it looks like a lot of this is controlled by the numerical keys which is quite disheartening um, but hopefully we can get working uh, we've got a bunch of little commands up and down which is linked to the pilot seat W and S pitch Okay, okay, let's try this one more time, and then we'll spawn in something new. Alright, let me get back up here. Oh, missed it. Come on. Uh, uh, there we go. Six. And it sets off. Now we'll just gently nudge ourselves forward. I think what we need to do is pull back on the... On S there. And it should. Is it doing it? No, it's not doing it. Maybe I'll press W? Oh, God. Oh god, okay, little landing ramp. Oh no. For some reason we can't pull up. When it's doing it. I'm gonna I'm gonna try one more time. I'm gonna try to spawn it back in. Let's press V if we can. Oh come on. I can't get back to the workshop now. It's like trapped here now. Okay, well this could have gone a lot better. Um Yeah, for some reason it doesn't want me to spawn it. I think it's because I've got the Oh god, where are we now? I think it's because we've got the engine on that it doesn't want to go back. So let's uh, turn the engine off. And now if we press E, will it let us... Nope, still won't let us take it back. Okay, well that's the thing there now. That's a permanent fixture of this island. Let's spawn something new in because nothing seems to be working. And I really want to have something special for us before we wrap up the video. So uh, I'll go spawn something new in. Here we go. Alright guys, to wrap up the video here, I have two... But I've got the Cursed Guard ship and the Cursed Guard submarine. So let's try out the ship first. Um, it's not there. 
Okay, well, let's try out the submarine. Here we go. Thank you. Okay, let's spawn that in. I'm really curious. Wait, shouldn't this be in water first? This is pro this is probably a bad idea to put it there. Let me see if there's a, uh, a workbench over this. There is. Okay, so this is where we're going to be deploying the boats up, uh, from, clearly. Uh, so let's head over this way. Let's spawn in that. We're actually going to try the Curse Guard shipper. Oh, it does work this time. Okay. Let's spawn it in. So it should be. Whoa, this thing is big. Look at that. Oh my god, it's huge. Okay, I think we can make this jump. You ready? Here we go. Huh. Okay, it didn't go very well. There should be... Yep, there's a ladder here. Oh god, we almost didn't need the ladder with the amount we were jumping there. Oh, we almost did it. One more. No. Okay, let's climb onto the ladder. Up we go. Let's try. How do I get in? Wait, do these open? Oh, I've got a little torch there. These don't seem to want to open. Maybe there's a, a different way to get in. So we've got a helipad here, which is really nice. Uh, these doors don't seem to want to let me get through there. Which is interesting, to say the least. They're kind of open, but they don't let me in. I wonder, is there... Ah, there is another ladder. Okay. Oh, God. Here we go. All right, so we've got a big front deck here. I imagine up there is where the... Um, can I get through that? Is where the, uh, the, the the piloting area is. So how do I... Oh, God, we can almost just climb up. There must be somewhere to get up here. Come on. How do I get in? This is a lot more complicated than I thought. Who'd have thought it'd be this hard? There must be somewhere to get in, surely. How the heck do I climb up there? Can I just click the doors open? Nope. I can't press E on them. It looks like they do kind of open, but this is annoying. This is so annoying. Come on, I've got to be able to get in there. Ugh! I don't think flinging myself at the wall is going to help. I really thought we'd be able to get in this way, though, because there's like a ladder there. Maybe it's underneath. Maybe there's like a little hatch. Nope. Let's delete these doors. Right, we have deleted the doors. Uh, let's load it in. Uh, well, no, that's the wrong button to press, evidently. Uh, let's go back. Uh, spawn it in, I meant. Okay. Now, I think I did delete a block or two by accident, like ones that were at the doors. So, hopefully, we can... Oh, yeah, it's sinking a little. Um, yeah, I've deleted... Look, there's a big hole in the boat now. Okay, well, let's reload it in. Uh, a fresh one. God, we still need to try out the thing as well, don't we? The uh, submarine. Let's rotate it around. And now, let's erase the doors here. So, there's one door, and there's another door, and there's a door up here, which I'm just worried about later on. I don't think there are other doors. I think we're okay. So, uh, let's spawn it in, and hopefully this one doesn't uh, mess up. Here we go. Okay. Let's make the jump across. Oh, we actually did it that time. Okay. Uh, so, we're in. Yeah, I couldn't figure out for the life of me how to get those, uh... Oh, God, where are we now? Is there another door? My God, so many doors. How can I... How can I get in? Are these, like... I thought those were, like, buttons or something. Okay, so there seems to be more doors that we've got to delete, evidently. Just need to build it all the way down. Like, so, hopefully this doesn't mess with the weight of it too much. Like, the weight of the burt. Here we go. Uh, and now, we should be able to... Yep, I've opened a door there, so let's spawn this one in. Please don't make it all wonky and flippy. No, it's actually working. Okay, let's turn our flashlight off. All right, now let's make the jump. Uh, nice. Here's our new staircase. I can't even do that right. Can't even do that right. Man, it's taken so long to get this ship working. Okay. I think this is definitely the biggest ship we've uh, used in the game so far. Okay. Now it's just a matter of getting it to work. Okay. Uh, oh, God. Come on. Trying to push everything on. What are all these buttons? Let's switch everything on. Why not? Oh, engines. There we go. So we might have to do it separate. Where's the... There we go. It's alive! Okay. Can we move? Are we moving? Here we go. 
What? Okay, so for some reason, uh, the, um, <laughs> for some reason, the, uh, the forward key is rooted to D rather than W and S. Like, I, this is so confusing. Okay, well, we know that D is forward, so let's just sail, shall we? Let's just sail a bit. It's nice to see it's working, but the controls are a bit messed up, that's for sure. Um, Mayday, Mayday, we're coming in for a crash! Whoa! Oh, man. Well, well, that took us a while to get working, and it definitely was not worth it. Uh, let's spawn in the submarine this time, and let's have a look at the logic briefly, so we can kind of see if there are any funky little, um, you know, errors in the, in the controls there. Man, there's a lot, a lot here. I wish it came up with, like, a little commands list so you could just quickly see what's been rooted where. But no, you've got to find all these little dots. Okay, so throttle. Where's that link to? That might be a good idea. Uh, up and down. Where are the engines? Where's the power? There's the power. What's that link to? Power again. Uh, is there a key that's attached to? Or... Hmm. Maybe we just have to turn the engines up. Let's just spawn it in. The only way we can get working is if we check it out first. Uh, oh, it's down there. So I do wonder if we can... Oh, it is kind of underwater. That's cool. Oh, we actually made it this time. We actually made the jump. Okay, where's the pilot seat? Here we go. Uh, so we need the engine on. Let's press all the numerical keys again. Don't seem to be working, so there might be a button toggle. Toggle all the buttons. Oh, we kind of closed ourselves in. That's cool. Got more buttons to toggle. Is one of these the engine? There we go. Whoa. Okay, we are a bit wonky. Hey, we're moving. Okay, this one is a lot easier to control, to be honest. Than the, uh, than the last one. Oh, neat. Look at this. Oh, this is cool. Let's have a look in our first person view. Now, can we actually dive underwater like a real submarine? Just spin ourselves around. Hey, it kind of works. I think, are we, yeah, we're completely submerged. Look at that. It's kind of an odd way to do it there. So we have to like, hold on. Like, roll ourselves a little bit, at least. Hey, look at this. So it definitely sort of works. Unfortunately, there isn't really anything interesting under here right now, but it's nice to see that it works. Okay. All right, I think uh, now is a good time to wrap it up. So uh, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode of Burner's Points, please let me know with a like and a subscribe. As I said, this is just a, uh, whoa, this is just a new series which will kind of separate these videos from uh, our regular storyline content. But if you are interested in that, please go check out my web series, Checkpoint. And uh, yeah, I'm trapped in here now, so I'm going to die. Thanks for watching, guys. This is me, Steve. That has been Stormworks Checkpoint Complete.